guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul. A really, really big haul. I don't even think I'm going to show everything that I've bought because it's a lot. And I know my videos are super long. I know, guys. I'm really trying to cut down. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to get into the video. I literally just got home from shopping like maybe an hour ago and I did my whole setup and I'm filming. Um, I have some stuff I'm not showing in this haul video just because it would be like an hour long and I do have a winter lookbook coming up so you guys can see more stuff in my lookbook and you'll be able to see some of this stuff styled. So first I'll show the shoes I got. I have three pairs of shoes. My first pair is from Steve Madden and this is what they look like. Oh my god you guys this is my favorite shoe purchase this year. Look how pretty it is. Okay. So it's a sock booty boot booty. I don't know. Um, and it really hugs your leg, which is why I love this so much. It was a little bit pricey for this style of boot because literally every company has came out with one of these and they're usually priced around 30 to 40, sometimes like $50. These were $129 from Steve Madden. I bought it from Nordstrom. And they I just think they're worth it because just, I don't know, they just feel nice. And they hug your leg really, really nicely, like I just said. And I ordered actually a pair of this style booties from Windsor. And they were horrible, honestly. They were slouchy, they didn't even hug my leg the way this style of booty is supposed to. And the girl at Windsor, the, like the sales girl, even she said, yeah, a lot of our boots do that. So I wanted just something that's better quality and for $129, it's honestly not bad for a really good boot. So I absolutely love this. They also had a olive green color and it had a wooden heel. It was so pretty, but I just figured I would get more use out of a black one. So love this one. My next pair of boots are these ones right here. This is from H&M and I've already worn these. That's why I don't want to touch the bottom. This is from H&M and I really love them. This was my very first shoe purchase from H&M. And I have to say I'm really impressed by the quality of this um, little booty. And I got these for 30% off because on Black Friday, H&M's entire website was 30% off. So originally these were like 40 bucks and I bought them for $27.99. And I'm so excited. These are so comfortable. I wore these for maybe like six hours, six or seven hours today. And by the end of the day, obviously my feet were dying, but they were doing totally fine all day. And yeah, I just really love them. They're comfortable, they're cute, and they don't look like they're from H&M, you know? Super cute. My next shoe purchase is from Franco Sardo. I hope that's how you say it. Um, and this is from Macy's. I don't know if they carry this brand other places. They probably do. And this is what the booty looks like. I've worn them once and I have to say I, I'm not a huge fan of these to be honest. They just don't hug my leg or my foot quite like I wanted it to. It's the right size for me but still it, I don't know, I think because up here the hole is so big that it just, I don't know, it just doesn't give much support to my leg. So I feel like my shoe is kind of falling off, but it fits perfect. So if it were any smaller, it wouldn't fit my foot, if that makes sense. So I don't really like these, to be honest, and I think they were like, I think I bought them on sale for 90 bucks. So yeah, but they were cute. Next place I went to was Forever 21, and I have a really cute bag from here. This is my first bag purchase from Forever 21, and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. This is what it looks like, and it's got like this shoulder strap, and I just thought it looked really good quality. Like, I would not think that this is from Forever 21 if I were just to see it on someone. I think it's so cute and it actually feels like it's good quality 
and I kind of like the poof. I'm not a huge fan of the poof trend, but I don't know. I kind of like this the way it is. And the price on this bag is $22.90, so not bad for a cute little bag. And then we went to Zara. And all this stuff has tags on it. I literally just bought everything tonight, so I haven't worn any of this yet. Um, the first item is this little sweater, and it looks like any old sweater, right? And the bottom has this little lace detailing. It's so cute. I am hoping to be able to wear this as a dress. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away with it, so we'll see but I bought it in a size large, and so I'm hoping I'll be able to wear this dress. I don't know, I haven't tried this one on yet. And the price on this was $35.90, so pretty good price for a cute little sweater. And I love the heather gray color, and it's really soft too, so yeah. Oh my God, chunky knits are everything right now, and I bought this sweater, you won't be able to see it when I hold it up, but once I try it on, you'll be able to see that it's so big and chunky and it's super long and it's just so warm and perfect for this weather. I love the color and yeah, it's just really cozy. I'm really impressed with this and I bought it in a size medium it only comes in a small or a medium and they didn't have any more smalls so I just went with the medium who cares it'll be more chunky anyway and the price on this was $99.90 so $100 for this super chunky this is such good quality I'm really happy with this so yay Zara they are so on point with their knits honestly guys the next item I have is another sweater type of thing. I'm hoping to also wear this as a dress. This, it just doesn't get cold here in Southern California, so I will be totally fine wearing this as a dress. As long as it's long enough. I don't know. We shall see. But it's really soft. I love the color. I basically only wear neutrals in the winter, so yeah. And I bought this in a size large also and it was oh $19.95 but it's in not dollars this is in pounds let me find the receipt I believe this was $29.90 yeah so this was $29.90 super cute very basic this is nice just for layering and you know to wear under knits the next one I have from Zara is this dress. It's a floral dress and it doesn't look like anything special, but once I put it on, you'll see it's super cute. I don't have anything that's like this kind of floral, so once I saw this, I was like, oh yes, I need this for sure. Again, just throw on a knit over this and it's cute. It's a dress, so it is actually long. So yeah, I got this in a medium though because I wanted it to fit a little bit oversized and the price on this was $49.90. So a little bit more pricey, but whatever. It's part of their premium denim collection from Zara. It's just really nice, lightweight, and I'm traveling to the Philippines. So January 1st, I'm gonna be in the Philippines and I feel like this is a perfect dress that I could wear in the Philippines just something lightweight and yeah super cute I love it the next thing I have from Zara is this leather dress and it's just so comfortable guys I love the sleeves it's made out of like what kind of material it's like a stretchy material and I just this leather just feels so soft and comfortable I just when I put it on I wasn't really sure about it because I don't have anything like this in my closet so I just wanted to try it on once I tried it on I was sold it just it just feels so comfortable and so nice and I just did not want to take it off so I was like I need to buy this because it's so comfy and yeah it just feels really nice I bought this in a size small and the price on this was $49.90 and honestly guys, for the quality of this, the way it feels and how comfortable it is, 
$50 is not a bad price. And it does have pockets. Hello. It's perfect. I love this so much. So cute. And the last thing I have from Zara is this crazy statement necklace. It's crazy. It looks like it, it's a choker. And then it like dangles down. It's so pretty. If I was here for New Year's, I would probably wear this. But I'll be honest, I need to the Philippines on New Year's, so I can't wear it. But so cute. I love the colors in this. I don't know. I just thought it was really beautiful. And the price on this was $29.90. So next is H&M. And I bought some stuff there too because they're winter stuff. I don't usually shop at H&M to be honest. I'm not a fan of their quality. And I feel like the prices are slowly creeping up. And I just feel like the quality is not there, you know, to justify the price. Um, so I don't usually shop there, but this stuff was on point. So I just had to. First thing is this leather jacket. And the leather just feels so nice. It's obviously fake leather. And um, the inside is like a pretty taupey satin color. So I really love that. And this just fits me really nicely. I bought it in a size four and it was $49.99. I really wish I bought this on Black Friday so I could have gotten 30% off, but I didn't. But yeah, this is really cute and it feels like it's good quality. The next item I have is a chunky knit from H&M. I love this. I love the color of this. I have like three sweaters that are very similar to this, but I really liked how this one is so oversized. And I just, I can't wear it as a dress. I really wanted to find one that's like a, sh that would fit oversized and be almost like a dress, but I couldn't find the perfect one. They had ones that were just way too long and it just didn't look that cute. And then they had shorter ones and this was a shorter one. But it's just so thick and chunky that I just couldn't pass it up. And they have this in so many different colors. They had a navy one, they had a cream one, they had like a darker gray one, and then they had this color. But I just really love this color. Now the price on this is $34.99 and I bought this one in a size medium. Just because I wanted to fit a little bit oversized, a little bit more oversized than because my usual, my usual size is a small, but I figured the medium would just make it look more chunky. The next thing I have is a bodysuit, and it's velvet. I don't think I own anything that's velvet, and I've been wanting something. I'm just really picky with velvet, but I feel like this is... Actually, I do own something that's velvet. It's like a crop top, a velvet crop top, and it's from Brandy. But I, wa I really wanted a bodysuit that was velvet and yeah I really love this one if it's slouchy in the front and gives you really nice cleavage I wish I had some boobs but I don't so it doesn't look tacky I thought like if I had big boobs it would look a little trashy but I don't so I will be able to get away with it the only thing I'm so disappointed on is the butt part is not a thong it's like grandma underwear which sucks because when you're wearing leggings or jeans, your underwear lines are gonna show. So I'm not too stoked about that. I have to find a way to hide it, but that's the only downside. And I bought this in a size small and it was $24.99. Grandma's you love to read. <laughs> the next item I have is a necklace. This is a crazy necklace, I know that. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna wear it. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. I don't know if this is going back yet because it's a little crazy, okay? But I'm gonna try and make it work. It's different, I just wanted a different type of necklace. I've been feeling a little daring. I'm gonna give you guys one sneak peek on something that's gonna be in my lookbook. This jacket right here. It's a fur coat. Yes, it's a black fur coat. Okay, I really wanted a black fur coat. I love black. I found one on Forever 21 and I'm so sad because 
it's been out of stock forever and then finally it's like not even on their website anymore so I'm really sad but I'm gonna try and do a DIY for a coat for you guys so hopefully I'll be able to get that up soon but just a little sneak preview I'm not gonna try this on because you will have to just see it in my lookbook which will be coming ASAP okay but hello screen queen vibes yeah if you guys want me to do like some look for less videos on screen queens please comment down below and I will definitely do that because I'm obsessed with screen queens and their style I just love it and the very last item in this haul is this um, little what do you even call this it's a duster it's the Lily Slinky Duster in Black. This is from Boohoo, and I just wanted something like this just to put over, I don't know, I don't know, I just wanted something like this. So, yeah, it's just a duster. Simple, black duster, it's a midi, so it kind of like hits right below your knees, but not quite a maxi. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Before it becomes an hour long video, I'm just going to stop right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I've been loving filming in my living room. And I love my tree. I want to keep this up all year round, honestly. Keep this tree up. But I know that's not going to happen. So I'm going to milk it for as long as I possibly can. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you love hauls. I will definitely film more for you. So just let me know. And if you have any special video requests, let me know as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love to hold you close tonight and always. I love to wake up next to you. Oh. I love to hold you close tonight and